Hi, I'm Ira. I work at Kentish Town City Farm and I'm here today to talk with 11 year old twins Ruby and Freddie um, who attend Brookfield Primary School um, and in lockdown they have a small garden here um, but there's not enough room to grow vegetables so you discovered a bit of unused land just over here, a communal garden at the back of your home and with the help of your dad you were able to clear it and plant some vegetables in 2020 and share it, share what you grew with some of your neighbours. So we're just going to talk a bit about that and tell us, find out a bit more about about how that happened and what was the start of that? How did you, why, what, what made you start doing this? Um, well, in our shopping, um, we found some potatoes which had started sprouting. <laughs> so we just planted them and they grew. <laughs> so we, uh, we, made, we got potatoes and then we started to do the bigger garden. Wow, so from a rotten potato from your mm -hmm. supermarket, you were able to grow some, some real tasty potatoes. Yeah. Sounds amazing. So, um, did you? Are you always? Have you always enjoyed eating vegetables? Or wh why vegetables? What? What? How did that happen? Well, I really wanted to have chickens over the right side. So then we decided if we couldn't have them, then we just have vegetables. Fair enough. <laughs> because they produce they produce food like chickens. Like, yeah. Yeah. And what do you? Um, what's your favourite vegetable and why? Um, do you have a favourite vegetable? Is that a weird question? <laughs> Probably a cucumber. Oh really? Have you ever tried to grow a cucumber? Yeah, one of my mum's friends gave us cucumber plants and we planted them over there again. We have a little um, patch where we plant some stuff as yeah. well by the house. So. Excellent. And success with your cucumber growing? Yeah. Excellent. Um, and do the vegetables that you grow taste any different to a shop-bought uh, vegetable? Obviously the mouldy potato you weren't going to taste, but potatoes that you've grown, do they taste the same as potatoes that you'd grow in the shops or uh, that you get in the shops? They're fresher, but otherwise they're the same. I mean, we haven't tasted those since 2020, so don't kind of forgotten, but... <laughs> Yeah. And um, how did you choose what to grow? Was it just by coincidence, by accident, that you had potatoes? Or how did you make choices? Well, we just had potatoes, so we decided to use them. What else did you grow? Uh, we grow radishes, um, tomatoes, salad leaves, beetroot, red, um, pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin. Quite a lot, but yeah. yeah. Sounds amazing. Has it made you any more adventurous with food? Have you tried any new things? Yeah, I tried a radish. Oh. I've never had one of those, they're nice. Oh, you, were, you were a fan of a radish? Yeah. Mm. Not so much. <laughs> no? They're quite a weird uh, vegetable. Did yeah. you? How did you eat it? Did you slice it thinly or did you just eat it? Just cut it. And Very good. Peter Rabbit's favourite, I, I recall. Um, other than the food that you've... Uh, you've uh, grown and you've provided has the gardening had any other impact on you uh, well we've gone outside more mm -hmm. Well, Dad's us outside. <laughs> and I would really like to get more young people growing things at the farm. We run a young farmers club, but this has tended to be focused on the animals. What advice could you give me um, for, for encouraging young people to do some more gardening? Well, first of all, people could watch this video and then they'll find out how much fun it is <laughs> because it's really enjoyable. So it just makes you get out more and yeah. you can actually get in the nature more. Yeah. And you get food to eat at the end of it, so you yeah. can free have food. a nice uh, free food Very as nice. well. Fantastic. Um, and then I have got a question. Other than people always asking you this question, what is the worst thing about being a twin? Having her. Annoying. <laughs> just, yeah, no, just, just that's it. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. there, always. And what about the other side? What's the best thing about having a twin? She's always She's there. Always there. <laughs> I mean, he's always there. <laughs> Do you think it makes a difference to you doing things? Do you think you would have grown, gone with this gardening if you were definitely just yeah. on your own? You would have just gone off and done it? Uh, I would have preferred it with Freddie, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much, both of you. Were you 
were explaining to me about your pumpkin and uh, I it's just by chance that I brought for, from Kentish Town City Farm a special pumpkin plant and this ke one this comes from a seed of our prize winning pumpkin last year which won the London Harvest Festival biggest wow. pumpkin so I'm giving this to you in the hope that you will join us in our pumpkin growing competition to grow the biggest pumpkin so I don't know where is a good place for you to plant it you'll have to think about that um, and I've also brought you it comes with a, a complimentary bag of our very um, very well known manure um, which is the best a lot of people locally come and get this special manure from Kentish Town City Farm so they can grow their plants so I've brought you some of that as well thank so you I can't wait to see what you come up with next and see if you can grow a really massive pumpkin uh, hopefully yeah <laughs>